Here's a wonderful example to illustrate the concept of the rank of a matrix. It will be a very short example, but it may leave you with a lot to think about and to consider the incredible power of linear algebra and the elegance of arguments that it enables you to make. So here's the question. Are the columns of this matrix linearly dependent? I'm not asking for the specific null space, but merely to ascertain whether the columns are linearly dependent or not. Now take a moment to think about this question, and I think that you'll be able to answer it rather easily, especially knowing that it has to do with the rank of the matrix. But you should also realize that until you were introduced to the concept of the rank of a matrix, you would have very little chance of answering this question and unless you resorted to Gaussian elimination, which is not a very attractive option in the case of this matrix. So let me reveal the answer. Yes, the columns are linearly dependent and they're linearly dependent because the rows are linearly dependent. It is not at all easy to see that there is a relationship among the columns. In fact, that relationship is 17 of this column, negative 16 of this column, and 5 of this column. This is not the sort of relationship that a normal human being is capable of noticing unless you're perhaps Euler. But most human beings would not be able to notice this relationship among the columns. However, it's relatively easy to notice a relationship among the rows. And that relationship is that 10 of this row plus this row equals this row. 10 of row 2 plus row 1 equals row 3. So the rows are linearly dependent. Therefore, the rank of the row space is 2. And the rank of the column space is therefore 2 as well. The dimension of the row space and the column space is 2. And if the dimension of the column space is 2, and we have three vectors in a two-dimensional space, they're necessarily linearly dependent. And there you go. We're able to conclude that the columns of this matrix are linearly dependent. And if you think about it, even for a moment, you'll realize it's an incredibly powerful statement because we're able to say that there exists a non-trivial linear combination of the columns that equals zero, even without being able to specify what that linear combination is. Of course, Gaussian elimination can help us reveal that linear combination, but we can state with confidence that that linear combination exists without doing any Gaussian elimination, in fact, without doing any much, any work at all. And this is really a microcosm for most of linear algebra. If you really master the concepts of linear algebra, you will be able to make powerful statements with very little work because it gives you an incredible insight and an incredible understanding of the structure of things.